So, I know you are a learned friend. You know what host is. A host is someone who possesses the program of something. Or organizes something. In a Christian world, we know they will organize preaching for us. They will organize crusades, seminars. They know how this city is. If someone will welcome me in Paris or in London, I'm a guest. But there is a host there who knows how London is, who knows how Nairobi is, who knows how Istanbul is. So, when I come there, I will not be a stranger. He will give me the whole history. So, there are hosts in the heavenly places, in the darkness places, hosts. And this host that Paul said that we are fighting, they are planning how to destroy us. The host knows about a human being, knows about a spiritual life. They are experts, always design everything and now send people. If I am the host, when people come to visit me, I will tell them, go to Antakarnis, go to Jerusalem, go to, go to, go to, go to. Because I know these places. So the host in the heavenly places, they know where weaknesses are. They know this church is weak. They know this man is a coward. Doesn't trust in God. Go to him. Destroy him. This country, they are praying so hard. Hold on because we will know how to, to tackle them. Now they are praying. Now they are learning God's word. Now they are preaching gospel. Don't go there now. Because there are a lot. These hosts, they know what to do and when and where. But Christian sleeps. <sighs> oh, today is Sunday. Oh, today is Sunday. What? Two weeks. Oh, today is Sunday. Again. Oh, today is Sunday. So they only sleep the whole week and wake up Sunday morning and pick up the Bible and do <coughs> and now start going to church. <laughs> Hello, Pastor. Praise the Lord. How was your week? And uh, what the Lord is saying about church, what the Lord is saying about us. And after that, Pastor prays for them. They go back home and put the Bible again on the shelf where other books are so the devil sees you See, there so your family your life always at a mess we you come to church we pray over you you say oh we pray but nothing happened so you say you start blaming pastor doesn't know how to preach or oh, so and so always preach uh, praying against me uh, this church, I think I should change to another church because here is not good. Um, people are very quiet. Their spiritual life is down. You complain a lot. But who is spiritually down? It's you who doesn't think about God the whole week and sleeping. So the devil targets you, doesn't target God. In fact, the devil doesn't target God. He targets men. And this is the fact. So, the devil, the hosts, they know all these things. So, Paul says, whom are we fighting? That is there. We fight against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. What is the advice that Paul is given, giving to us? He's giving to us and saying this, number 13. Therefore, take up 
the armor of God that you may be able to stand uh, to withstand in the evil days and having done all to stand what is all what makes you to stand really what makes you to stand having done all and what is all to take the armor of God that means God has given us armor to fight he has given us uh, full equipment to withstand against the days of evil. So when evil comes to you, what is evil? Evil is money? No. So what is evil? Evil is to buy another car? No. What is evil? So when evil will come to you, you will be able to stand because you have done all all not one not a two not three but all so what are the alls let's read number 16 above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. The shield. So the shield is faith. So faith quenches all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Number 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. This is important also, very, very important. The helmet, you know the helmet. This like uh, motorcycle people put on head. This hardest thing that when accident will occur, when you have the helmet, you will not bruise or break your skull. So people must put helmet of salvation because when the time of fighting will occur or will happen some of the evil spirits will try to confuse your mind 